Hey guys, my name is Scubby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add follower alerts to your stream in OBS. This is going to be a nice, quick, and easy tutorial on screen right now. You can see an example of what that looks like. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I want to do is come to the Streamlabs link. Links are always in the description down below. And we're going to be clicking right here in the middle, Launch Streamlabs. Now here we're going to have to either connect our Twitch or YouTube. In this case, we're going to be connecting our Twitch because we're adding follower alerts for Twitch. So we're going to click Connect with Twitch. So the first time you connect, you are going to have to authorize and allow Streamlabs access to your Twitch so it can know when you actually get followers so all you have to do is click authorize sign in and then we're going to be met by this page this is our Streamlabs dashboard and this is going to have information about your stream donations recent followers recent subs etc etc in this case we're going to be bringing our attention over here to the left to the widgets and we're going to be paying particular attention to the alert box we're going to click into the alert box and here's where we're going to be able to set up a couple different settings so we're going to have our general settings here at the bottom we're not going to be paying too much attention to that in this case we're going to be clicking the next tab and we're going to be selecting follows so we're going to be going step by step through the follow settings and this is where we're going to be able to set up everything that needs to be done for our follower alerts to come up onto our stream so the first thing we have to do is actually enable follower alerts this is so that follower alerts are actually allowed to be used in this case if you ever want to disable this at any time simply come in here and click to disable but that's not what we're doing in this case the next thing we're going to be looking at is the actual layout and here we're going to have to select in between a couple different methods of displaying our actual alert so the first option is to have the text below the image the second option is to have the text on top of the image and the third option is to have the text to the right of the image so this is really just a bit of trial and error to see what works for you i personally like when the text is on top or the text is to the side not a huge fan of it's on the bottom but that's a little bit of trial and error to see what works for your stream next thing we're looking at is the alert animation and these are different type of animations that will play once your alert is started so you actually have a nice array of alert here but I personally just like the actual fade in and fade out but of course you can play around with this to your heart's content like I said this is all trial and error to see what works for you the next thing we're looking at is the message template and this is the pop-up message that's going to come up when someone follows you the name in brackets here is going to be replaced by the name of the person who followed and then the message after this is the actual follow message that'll pop up the next thing we'll be looking at is the text animation and here we can have a quick preview on the right hand side of what we can expect now there's a couple different things you can do here there's a rubber band there's tada there's a bunch of different options here and you can select whichever one suits you i personally like the bounce as it's kind of like that nice fun thing but like i said these are all just customization techniques that you can use to make yours more customized for your stream and make it special for you the next thing we can do is select the image we want and of course you can upload your own image if you want all we have to do is click image and we can drag and upload to the top but thankfully streamlabs has a bunch of default stock images that they have if we come down here to the left and click images under stock files they have a bunch of images that we can choose from and we can select anything we want so in this case i'm just going to click this gif here and i'm going to select of course you can customize this to your own stream if you have your own logo or something and you can do whatever you want with that underneath we can change that for the sound that's going to pop up for a follower message we can also change that and they also have a bunch of stock sound sounds that you can pick from here also if you want to cancel the image or the sound simply click this little red x beside it i personally like them but if it's not your kind of flavor you can easily remove them underneath here we have the sound volume that will change the sound volume of the alert tone if it, you think it's too loud because some of them can be really loud and obnoxious so play around with this see what works for you underneath we have the alert donation and this is going to determine the amount of time your alert follower message comes up on screen now i would not leave this any longer than 10 seconds but of course if you want it longer you can but underneath 10 seconds from 6 to 10 seconds is kind of the sweet spot they have a default by 8 and i think that's a good reasonable amount of time the alert text delay is going to determine how long from your image popping up to the text showing up is going to have a delay on your stream in this case it's set to zero but you can play around with this if you wish the last two things we're going to be able to open up and customize are the font settings so here we have a bunch of fonts that you can choose from if you wish i'm going to leave the font by default i think they're all google fonts that you can use so if you want to just go to google fonts and actually look at the fonts to find which one you want you can do that you can change the font size here the font weight which is going to be the thickness or the actual boldness of the font here we can change the text color which is going to be the default color and the text highlight color is going to be the name of the actual user so you can customize these here with either a hex code or you can just select and choose the color you wish but just remember the top text is for the main text body and the bottom text is for the actual person's name so you want to give that a slightly different tint so people know what they're looking at and finally we have variations and variations are going to affect a different pop-up message 
or different image every now and again. In this case, you can set a condition. The condition here is only going to be randomly and that's going to be every random other user that follows you will have a different pop-up message. Now this can be used in a couple different cases. I personally am not a huge fan of this, but if it's something you want to play around with to try and make your stream more unique, you can of course do this. So finally, when we have all of our stream settings saved that we are happy with, simply come down here to the very bottom and click save settings. And now our settings have been saved. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll back up to the top of Streamlabs and we're going to click up here at the top, click to show widget URL. Once you click that open, you can just drag and highlight your widget, copy the text, and we're going to go back to OBS. So now that we're in OBS, I just have a still image of Overwatch here. We're going to be adding a new source, which is going to pick up the live feed from our Streamlabs. So make sure you have the right scene selected. Come down here to sources, click the plus, and we're going to be adding a browser source. Give the browser source a name, just call it alert follower or whatever you wish, just so you know what, what it is. Click enter, and we're going to change the URL to the URL of the Streamlabs. You can change the width and height if you wish. If you know how to use CSS, you can edit around with this. If not, I wouldn't touch it. I would leave it by default. I should also mention at this point that whatever the FPS of your stream is, you should set the FPS of this window to also. Simply just change the FPS in the panel right here. And I would leave these two bottom things off. Of course, you can play around with these if you wish. Click OK and your Streamlabs is going to load up and you will just have a blank empty box. Now I'd recommend putting this somewhere in the middle of the stream or somewhere where you want your follower alerts to pop up into. You can put it anywhere you want. I'm going to leave it somewhere around here is going to be fine. But now that you have all this done, you have to ask yourself, how do we know if it actually works? So we're simply going to go back to our Streamlabs and I'm going to click the test follow button underneath here. So if we click test follow, we go back to our OBS, you can see the sound played and the little message is coming up on screen with our little GIF and it works really, really well. And it's as simple as that to create a cool, clean, effective stream follow message for your actual streams. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Be sure to stay tuned for my next video where I show subscriber alerts and donation alerts and a couple of other things in OBS. I'm going to leave my OBS playlist tutorial on the top of the description down below. If you want to see some more videos, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. I'm going to leave a PayPal donation link down below if you think you found this helpful and you'd like to support me. Of course, there's no pressure on this and I'm not going to be hating anyone if they don't. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave two videos on screen. The one on the left is going to be my most recent upload. And the one on the right is going to be one that YouTube most suggests that you will watch. So you should probably check it out because it's apparently for you. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.